Hello, my name is Andy and I am the Village Idiot. I'm armed with a car and a GoPro and an unhealthy amount of time on my hands. Welcome back to West Lindsay. And unlike my previous video, which was in Kilby, I am now back into the southwest of the district, back to the area which I started. And I'll be spreading out from here towards the northeast as I work my way through this gigantic district. You can expect videos in West Lindsay every Monday from now on. And here's the first of those videos. This one is another little village which is not far from Stowe. In fact, it's Stowe's neighbor. This one, as you can see, is a mix of the old and the new. And there are some newer houses, even newer than those, being built down there. Welcome to the parish of Ingham. So straight away, you're probably thinking that Ingham has definitely got a horsey theme to it with Farrier's Courtyard and the old Cooperage, which is that white building that's right next to it. And also this pub here called the Black Horse.
everything you've just seen that was in the village hall the tapestry and the copy of the Magna Carta was thanks to the village hall caretaker uh, who uh, inquired as to what this was all about I don't think he'd seen me on Facebook or anything like that before uh, and he was very helpful his name is Greg Okay, now we're heading up Grange Lane, which will take us towards the old chapel and also a church.
Okay, so here we are outside the church here in Ingham, and as you can see, it's open. So let's go and have a look inside this delightful little building. interesting on the wall here in the church there's a memorial to the RAF Ingham there you go Royal Air Force Ingham 1942 to 1945 numbers 300 and 305 Polish squadrons number 190 squadron numbers 1481 and 1687 BDT flights number 460 squadron in memory of those who failed to return and honour those who survived to mourn their loss. Now a little bit later on in the video we'll be going up to the site of RAF Ingham. It used to be uh, on what's called the cliff uh, which is effectively Middle Street. And Middle Street connects Ingham to a lot of other villages in the area for example Fillingham and Glentworth um, and uh, I'm trying to think Hemswell is another one. Um, so later on we'll drive up to there and we'll see the site of RAF Ingham. Towards the south of the village is where you're going to find most of the newer houses and this area is also still expanding too. There are some more new houses that I can see behind these in shot now which I'm heading towards. The village is one of those within boundaries of West Lindsay that seems to be growing. that's where we end our main walk around the village of Ingham but as I said earlier there's still a couple of things I need to show you and one of those things is the former site of RAF Ingham okay so where I am now I am standing on the site of the old RAF Ingham or RAF Cameringham depending on which one you want to call it it was known by both in its time and this 
concrete is part of one of the runways. Now I believe there were some grass runways here as well. Although the locals out there I'm sure will confirm whether there were or weren't or whether I've just dreamt that but I'm pretty sure in my research before I came here I read there were some grass runways as well as this concrete runway. And I will tell you this now, there are quite a few of these in and around West Lindsay and in and around uh, Lincolnshire in general. We'll be seeing a lot more of these old airfields. Now, there isn't much here now. Most of what's here is, as you can see, just open farmland. Uh, and there is a building over there too. Uh, I believe that manufactures uh, outdoor toys now. I think it's called Plum Play. I'm not totally sure of that, but I think that's what it does. Um, so yeah, uh, this is RAF Ingham. Another area which is steeped in local history. should also mention before I leave here as well, there is a heritage center, a memorial uh, to RAF Ingham. Uh, now to get to that, you have to drive a little bit that way along Middle Street towards Fillingham. And we'll be seeing that when we cover the Fillingham episode. <laughs> And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where the Ingham episode ends. I have thoroughly enjoyed being back in this part of Lincolnshire. It's always good when I come back here. And I thought I'd end this one uh, just up from where we've just been at the, uh, the windmill in uh, with this fantastic view across the valley. I'm just gonna cross the road because uh, I think it might be better if I'm on this side of the road. So the village of Ingham is down there. And we're on top of the cliff this is middle street and we'll be seeing a lot more of middle street in future episodes with villages that are that way along it the b1398 but for now this has been the parish of ingham and i've been the village idiot and i'm out <laughs> <laughs>